Garlic not only gives flavor to your food, but also medicinal value to your meal. It is an easy and tasty addition to the plate that has a myriad of health benefits. Stay tuned. You're listening to Menopause Natural Solutions. This is episode 176, The Health Benefits of Garlic at Menopause. Welcome to Menopause Natural Solutions, your podcast for all things perimenopause, menopause and beyond. Stay tuned as your host, naturopath Jennifer Harrington, explains how to use natural therapies to find your ultimate health and happiness during your transition. Thank you for your company today. I recently surveyed my email list and asked them what kind of information did they want to hear from me. And I am preparing some workshops for October for a Menopause Awareness Month. But one of the topics was functional food. So I thought, why not put an episode on garlic today? And we can already start that conversation on functional foods. So as I said, today is all about garlic, a functional food with many names and a long history of use. Medicinally, I know garlic as Allium sativum, but it has a long list of common names, including stinky rose, camphor of the poor, nectar of the gods, Russian penicillin, linking its common name to its believed native origins in Siberia, but also to its antibacterial qualities. Garlic is a member of the Allium family, which also includes onions, leeks, shallots and chives. Garlic is believed to contain the greatest amount of medicinal components from within the Allium family. The word garlic is derived from an old English word meaning spear-shaped leek. Hippocrates is famous for saying, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. Garlic is a perfect example of this. Humans have been using garlic medicinally for over 5,000 years. The ancient Babylonians, Romans, Greeks, Egyptians, Russians and Chinese have all had long documented history of use. A lot of their uses have been validated with science, but we will discuss these shortly. But others such as warding off evil spirits and repelling vampires, I'm really not so sure about. Let's start by looking at the health benefits for the perimenopausal women among us. For those of us who are still cycling, garlic may help produce reproductive pain and inflammation. In a 2021 study, the effect of garlic tablets on endometriosis-related pain found that taking 400 milligrams of garlic tablet daily reduced uterine, pelvic and back pain by 72%, while the control group experienced an increase in pain over the same time frame. Another 2021 study called Effect of Garlic Supplementation on Premenstrual Disorders. This study was investigating the effects of garlic supplementation for women with moderate to severe PMS. These women also took 400 milligrams of garlic daily. They were reassessed after three cycles and 91% of the treatment group had had their diagnosis downgraded to only mild PMS. Garlic contains phytoestrogens in the forms of lignans and isoflavones. Unfortunately, in my literature search, I didn't find any sources specifically looking at garlic and hot flushes, but I did find literature looking at the specific phytoestrogens found in garlic reducing hot flushes. So if there's any medical researchers listening today, please consider looking into this and report back to us, please. As we transition into menopause, The reduction of our estrogen levels results in lower cardiovascular protection and increases our risk of cardiovascular events. 
Many women are concerned about their heart health at this time of life. And garlic can be a wonderful preventative strategy to start now to minimise our risks and protect both our heart and arteries moving forward. Specifically, garlic helps to regulate our blood pressure, improve our blood lipid profile and help maintain healthy arteries. Another serious consideration for postmenopausal women is osteoporosis. Garlic may help reduce bone loss and with its anti-inflammatory effect, it may also help reduce joint pain. With the reduction of estrogen also comes an increased risk of blood sugar issues. If you have diabetes or metabolic syndrome, garlic might be helpful. One study found that when garlic was paired with metformin, which is a standard blood sugar lowering medication, the results improved. The garlic and metformin combination had a 70% improvement in results compared to metformin alone. Keep this in mind when we chat medical interactions later on. Liver health is also impacted by menopause. Garlic may help to lower liver enzymes, specifically AST and ALT. These enzymes are commonly associated with the development and the severity of fatty liver. Garlic has immune boosting, antibacterial and antiviral qualities. It has been long used as an immune booster and infection preventer. One study looking at daily garlic use over winter found a 63% reduction in self-reported infections and a shorter duration for those who still became unwell. Garlic also has anti-allergy qualities. It pairs quite nicely with horseradish to help minimise allergic rhinitis. Garlic contains dietary fibre to help keep your bowels regular and prebiotics. Prebiotics act as a fuel source for your probiotics to help maintain the health of your digestive microbiota. If you would like to try garlic as a functional food, ideally you need two cloves daily. Raw garlic contains a protein called alanin and a heat-sensitive enzyme called alaninase. When you chew, crush or slice raw garlic, the protein and the enzyme come together to form allicin. But what happens if you want to cook with garlic? Considering alaninase, the enzyme, is destroyed when it touches heat. This is where the 10-minute garlic rule comes into play. Simply crush or slice your garlic. Leave it for 10 minutes to allow time for the protein and the enzyme to come together and form allicin, the active constituent, as this has greater heat resistance and it's safer to cook with. If you are interested in trying garlic as a supplement, Remember that all supplements come with cautions, contraindications and medical interactions and garlic is no exception. Obviously, don't take garlic if you have a garlic allergy or sulfur intolerance. The biggest medical interactions with garlic are due to its ability to improve the effectiveness of certain medications. The big three interactions are with blood pressure, blood glucose and blood thinning medications. Make sure you ask your healthcare provider if it's safe for you to start taking a garlic product as they may need to monitor you more often and potentially reduce the dose of your medication. So I hope you have enjoyed learning about garlic today. If you haven't joined my email list yet, can I suggest that you do as this is where I let people know first about any events that are coming up and um, I will be looking at what other workshops I can run in the future, especially with Menopause Awareness Month coming up. Anyway, I hope you're well and I look forward to your company again next week. Bye for now. Thank you 
you for listening to Menopause Natural Solutions. This podcast contains general information about menopause. It is provided as a guide and it is not intended to replace medical advice. Opinions of guests are their own and this podcast does not endorse or accept responsibility for statements made by guests. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please share it with a friend.